a really fun makeup look with some glitter, some sparkle, a pop of color, some purple. Um, so this is the look, this is the hair and makeup that I decided to do because I know a lot of you have been asking me about this hair on my Instagram. So I decided to just show you how I put it on and how I uh, basically style this hair. So, so if you guys are interested in this look, then let's keep on watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my hair so you guys aren't looking at my braids the whole video. Um, I have this wig from Hassani Hair, which I'm actually really in love with, this hair texture. I think this is the body wave. I'll leave all the information down below, but it's custom colored and um, Hassani Hair actually made this into a wig for me. So it literally just came just like this and um, all I have to do is just plop it on my head. So there are some clips in the back here and then there's a uh, band. So I'm just gonna use the band to secure my hair and then put a little bit of this got to be glue just on the edges so it stays. I'm just gonna pop that right on. So at the moment, it's looking a little... <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, just take a little flat iron just to get it looking right again. Um, I'm gonna take this flat iron. This one's from GHD. And I'm just gonna try to create like a face framing sort of shape here. Okay, I really think it's doing something now. It's definitely coming together. So once I have something close like that, I'm gonna just use a little bit of oil. This is the Whey Hair Oil. Uh, it comes in my December glam bag, so I'm gonna use some of the products in there because you guys know I'm an Ipsy stylist. So I'm gonna take a couple of pumps. It smells really good. It smells a lot like, um, I don't know if you guys have tried Whey's products, um, but it, it kinda, it smells like it. And it's really lightweight, so I don't feel weird putting it on my um, wig, because it's not gonna wear the, weigh the hair down, it's just gonna give me a little bit of um, shine. So I'm liking this for right now, but I'm just gonna move on to the makeup, and then at the end I can just make sure I double check that everything is looking good, because I don't have a mirror right in front of me, I'm just using like the little viewfinder on the camera, and then this little mirror that I have here. So I've already put on a moisturizing sheet mask. This one's from Pure Lease. It's the Coconut and Rice Nourishing Sheet Mask. And it's just gonna really help to plump up and smooth my skin for the makeup. So let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna take this Wander Beauty brow pencil. It's in dark brown, and I'm just gonna fill in my brows. Um, I have bangs this time, so you probably won't see my brows so much, but just in case the wind blows. <laughs> and I like these type of brow pencils that have like a little small point because it really helps to create these like hair-like strokes and then it has a spoolie so you can just brush out <laughs> my bangs are all wet and gross <laughs> What did you guys do for your holiday? Did you or did you stay home? Are you home with your family? Or did you have to travel? How was it? I know families can be a little tricky sometimes, so how did it go? Okay, I like my brows kind of straight out these days. So I'll just kind of draw them this way and then I'll end up cleaning the end with some concealer just to really get that shape. So I'm gonna take my fave conceal at the moment and of all time if we're being quite honest. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and it's in a new shape for me. This is Tiramisu. I was always using ginger um, but they expanded their range. So I'm gonna use this just under the brow and I'm gonna bring this down to the lid and it's gonna help to kind of neutralize my lid color for the eyeshadows. So and I'm not gonna put too much because I don't want to get really creasy or anything like that. I'm taking, um, this is a NARS brush. It came in a set, but it's just like a pointed brush, pencil brush. 
And I'm using that just to really clean up the shape underneath my brow. And then just taking my finger to blend in the rest. And that'll help to pick up any excess products so that way I don't crease in my eye area. I also have this idea of just using, um, just doing a video, like a concealer only video, because sometimes I just end up only using concealer, no foundation. And so I want to show you guys how to just spot conceal and do some highlighting, some contour just with the concealer. So we have that into place and that looks good. I want to create a really good sort of base um, and some depth before I start adding glitters and the purples that I want to use. So I'm taking this Patrick Star Gold Getter eyeshadow quad from MAC. It's his collab with MAC. It's so, I just love it. All the shades are gorgeous. The lipsticks are gorgeous. All of it's amazing. So taking a fluffier brush and going into this shade here, it's like a really tan sort of shade. And maybe mixing it with this one as well. You can get them as singles. So this shade here is soft brown and then this shade here is Swiss chocolate. And that's just gonna go right into my crease area. It's gonna give me a little warmth and some shading. And then just cleaning up the shape a bit with a clean brush. If you hear any weird sounds, there's a cat in the background playing with a beer pong ball, so just ignore that. Taking the Pixie by Petra, this is the Mesmerizing Mineral Duo in Orchid Ornament, and it's like a purple shade and a lighter creamy shade here. It looks a little goldy champagne situation. So. So I'm gonna take that purple shade with a Smith 253 brush. And I'm gonna concentrate that just in this outer corner area. I wanna really create some depth here. So just pressing it on. Actually, I'm gonna take this Luxie 239 Precision Shader brush for that. It's a little softer and fluffier. And that's just gonna go right in the bottom lash line here. and then just winging this outer bit. So you should have a shape similar to that. And it really does just fit. This brush really just fits right into the eye socket. It's really nice. Okay, so it's time for a little razzle dazzle, right? I wanna take this, I haven't tried these yet. It's the Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Oh, peel off liner. Um, I'm gonna use it kind of just on my lid. The peel off part terrifies me. I don't really know what's going on with that, but I like the glitter cause it's like, um, it's like a multi glitter. It's kind of purple, but then there's blue, a little bit of green situation going on. So um, yeah, we're just gonna apply this onto the lid and hopefully it doesn't peel off. And I'm gonna just try to pack this on and see how glittery I can get it. I'm not really sure about the purpose of a peel off glitter liner. I don't really, you can educate me on that one. Okay, it's really actually building up. It's gorgeous. I actually really like this glitter, but I can't look at the camera yet. I let it dry. And then let's take a little bit of this gold one. It's called Lucky Bitch. Oh, that's really pretty. It's just gold chunky flex. And that'll act as like an inner corner highlight. And then we're gonna take a Smashbox Cosmetics Always On Gel Liner, and this is in Fishnet. It's a black pencil liner, and I love these because they're super creamy and really, really smooth. So I'm gonna take this in the waterline and this is just gonna darken up my lash line area because I want it to be about the glitter and I want it to be about the lashes that I'm gonna add on a little bit later. So that just adds a little bit of, of definition there. And then maybe just a little bit above the lashes here, but not creating a definitive line, just a little bit of shade that I can blend in. I'll take this Smith 253 with that purple again 
and just kind of blend in that black. Okay, I'm happy with the eyes. Um, so let's do a little bit of mascara. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. And um, I'm just gonna apply that to my top lashes. I just like how chunky it makes my lashes. So it gives me a really great base for my falsies to sit on. So I'm taking these Tarte lashes. These are called Girl Boss. I really, really love them. I end up cutting maybe just like a little bit of the end off so that it fits my eye perfectly, but I love how it gets kind of thicker at the end than it does in the beginning. So it really gives me that nice cat eye shape. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna dip back into this Pixie Duo. And I, I just really like it because it's just nice and glowy and it has a little bit of shimmer to it. So that's gonna go right in here. And it'll help to really complement that gold glitter at the top. So once I'm done with the eyes, I'm gonna move on to the skin and I haven't moisturized yet. So I'm taking the Chalk Chalk Green Tea Water Cream by Tony Moly and it's gonna really help to moisturize. Um, it has green tea extract in there, which is really great antioxidant for protecting your skin from free radical damage. And also it's just gonna help my skin feel really nice and plump and soft. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. And then I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and it's gonna really help with pores and to minimize shine. And it makes your makeup last a lot longer. So I'm just applying it where I mostly need it, which is in this T-zone area here. And then I'm gonna take this trick that I learned from Alyssa. So I'm taking the Patrick Star Powder and just a beauty blender sponge. And I'm gonna apply the powder here where I tend to get oily. And I like doing this before my foundation because it helps to absorb any of that oil and it really gives me a nice smooth base. So I've been taking this tip and running it with it with my life. And then I'm gonna go in with my concealer and it's the tiramisu again. And that's gonna go in my under eye area. And I like to do my concealer before I add my foundation. So that way it's just one layer of product. I find that when I apply my uh, foundation first and then my concealer on top, then it's just foundation and then concealer. And so I just wanna do one thin layer of product to cover. So we do concealer first and then foundation everywhere else. So I'm just working the powder back into this sponge so that way it's not just sitting there. And then with a the beauty blender sponge, just blending out my concealer. and I take it pretty high up here. And I've been like experimenting with other concealers because I've been using this one for so long that I'm just like, okay, there gotta be some new technology or some new situation going on. Now we're back, we're back, we're back like we never left. It's just too good. Like the concealers are just so good for just I would just say women of color or people of color in general because NARS concealers are just yellow enough or neutral enough, whereas some brands don't have a good weight range of um, undertones. So NARS always comes through with the undertone. Okay, so we have that in the place. And then for foundation, I am using Syracuse in the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It's the new foundation. It's fabulous. I don't know, have any other words for it. It's fabulous. And um, I like to do one, two, one, two, and then just work that in with the sponge. Now Syracuse is a little dark for my face, but it's perfect for my body. So I like to use Syracuse so that way if I'm taking photos and there's flash, uh, it looks perfect. Like I don't have any flashback. Now for contouring, if you can find a better shade than this, then by all means, do it. But I love this one. It's 1988 and it's in the um, Pure Pro Etienne palette and it's called 1988. And it's this shade here, which it's a little gray, a little warm, the perfect shade, the perfect tone. 
and it really just looks like a shade. Like it doesn't look like I'm bronzing. It doesn't have any warmth. It just looks like a shade. So I'm taking a Smith 139, preferably um, a brush smaller than this, but this is the one that I have and I'm too lazy to get it and it will work. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and just take a little bit of that and that goes right under the cheekbone. And you'll see it's this nice warm gray tone that really makes it look like it's a shade versus some sort of bronzing situation. And I also like that just to sculpt the jawline and chin area. We can also go down the side of the nose with this a little bit. It's a Smith 124 and I like it because it's this fluffy sort of angled brush situation. So we're gonna take that 1988 again and starting at the bridge of the nose, just very gently working down And it's just gonna give me the most natural nose contour. And then I'm taking a uh, MAC O oh Darling highlighter and that's going down the bridge of my nose. And the tip. And Cupid's bow if you want. What do I wanna do for cheeks? Actually, let's do the lip first, see what's going on with the lip. Um, and then I can add cheeks if I feel like I need um, a little bit of color. So for the lip, I'm taking the Smashbox uh, Be Legendary lipstick and it's in the shade Legendary. It's this really pretty sort of blue red. It's super moisturizing, it has vitamin C, vitamin E. So it's gonna give you a nice sheen, um, but I don't want a sheen. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of loose powder and pat that down. Pat that down. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Patrick Star Loose Powder. And first, I'm just gonna um, go ahead and set my under eye area. Um, this is this is random, I know. You're probably like, you were just doing your lips. But this is the Luxie uh, Precision Foundation Brush. And I'm gonna set my under eye area first so I can use the same brush to pat my lips down. I just hate using a million brushes. So let's do that first, set that under eye area. And I think the Patrick Star powder is, um, it has this peachy undertone to it, so it's really good for those of you who don't like that white translucent setting powder. But I also think it has a little bit of brightening to it also. So just in this chin area, just a little bit there. Gorgeous. Okay, that excited me. I need a little bit of face color. I have MAC Ambering Rose, which is one of my go-tos, which actually might work beautifully. And then we have a NARS uh, Alice Multiple, and that's more of like an actual red. Um, but it's a cream, which could look really pretty and give us like a nice dew. So I think we might work with that one. Let's let's work with the uh, Alice and see what happens. <laughs> let's see what happens. Going back in with my Smith 139. It's such a beautiful, like, subtle shade. I'd be crying if I could cry right now. But I can't because of my lashes. Might take a little bit of that just on my nose. And just my chin. Yeah, that's beautiful. I think I'm going to skip highlighter for today. Um, because I feel like once I set my face, which I'm about to do, a mac fix plus oh oh this is what they meant by peel up glitter oh okay because that's what they meant by peel off glitter but that's fine i'll just peel the corner off and then we'll just add to it that's fine what is the point of peel off glitter it's, it's because anyone at two face want to let me know what the point of the peel off glitter is is it cute for like 13 year olds? I think so. If I was 13, I would want to peel off my glitter liner. If I'm not 13, why? Like why? I don't, why? I, I don't even know why. That's fine, we'll work it in. Why? 
Um, I think we are literally almost done, except for the fact that I just wanna add a little bit of Slum Slum right below where my highlighter, uh, where my concealer pretty much sort of rubbed off. So I'm just gonna go underneath my lash line again, just with that purple from the Pixie Duo. This purple is gorgeous, guys. It really does have like a nice glowy, like iridescence, has like a, like a shimmer. I don't know how to explain it. It's beautiful though. And then once we have that in place, we can finally do our bottom mascara. Going back in with the Marc Jacobs. And going a little chunky with this to match the top lashes. Just gonna get my hair situated and then I'll be right back to show you the finished look. So I had to do my nails because there was nothing happening there. I'm taking the Lottie London Lottie Liqueur and this is in the shade Riot. It's just this metallic blue and it's long lasting, cruelty free, vegan formula. So I just slapped some of that on and we're good to go. So I just added a little bit of purple here in this inner corner because I thought I just needed a little bit of a pop, but that is the finished look. That is the hair and the makeup done. So let me know what you guys think down below. How did you spend your holiday? Did you spend it alone with your family? Where did you guys go? I'm always interested. I want to read your stories. So let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And big shout out to Ipsy for collaborating with me on this video. I love you all so much and until next time, bye.